Now, a powerful eruption caught on camera at Yellowstone National Park has sent debris raining down on visitors. Montana, a state known for its rugged mountains and expansive plains, is no stranger to seismic activity. But what if I told you that a powerful earthquake in Montana could do more than just shake the ground? It might rattle the sleeping giant beneath Yellowstone. Today, we dive into a story that blends seismic science with volcanic fear. The rising concern that tectonic activity in Montana could be the domino that tips the Yellowstone supervolcano toward eruption. Sounds like science fiction? Think again. In recent months, seismic sensors across Montana have picked up a swarm of small to moderate earthquakes, culminating in a significant magnitude 6.5 quake just north of Yellowstone National Park. While earthquakes in this region aren't unusual, the proximity and depth of this particular quake have sparked alarm among geologists. The quake occurred along a fault line near the border of Montana and Wyoming, very close to the Yellowstone hotspot, which is a massive underground system of magma beneath the famous National Park. Yellowstone sits atop one of the world's most active and dangerous volcanic systems. Beneath the park is a gigantic magma chamber that has erupted catastrophically in the past, most notably around 640,000 years ago. Though it's been dormant for thousands of years, the geological forces that govern Yellowstone are still at work today, constantly shifting and pushing below the surface. So, could this earthquake be the precursor to something much more ominous? Earthquakes, in and of themselves, rarely trigger supervolcanic eruptions, but they can serve as a catalyst. When seismic activity hits, especially near fault lines or in areas with active magma chambers, it can cause shifts in pressure that may affect underground reservoirs of magma. In some cases, the increased pressure can cause magma to rise to the surface, contributing to volcanic eruptions or other geological disturbances. Chapter 1. Understanding Yellowstone's Supervolcano System Yellowstone National Park may look serene on the surface, with its bubbling geysers and scenic landscapes, but beneath its beauty lies one of the most formidable volcanic systems on Earth, a true geological titan known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This supervolcano isn't defined by a towering cone like Mount Fuji or Mount St. Helens. Helens. Instead, it is an immense caldera, an underground reservoir of magma spanning approximately 60 kilometers in length and up to 20 kilometers in depth. This colossal magma chamber was formed through a series of violent eruptions over the past two million years, each releasing thousands of times more material than typical volcanic events. The last major eruption occurred around 640,000 years ago, forming the modern-day Yellowstone caldera. But since then, the area has remained volcanically active in subtler ways. Yellowstone experiences between 1,500 and 2,500 earthquakes per year, most too small to be felt but vital for tracking underground activity. These quakes, along with ground uplift and geothermal changes, are monitored by an intricate web of instruments managed by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, and the United States Geological Survey, USGS. Moreover, there is a continuous flow of heat and gas from the subsurface these features aren't just tourist attractions, they're geological signal. Geysers like Old Faithful operate because of underground heat and water movement, hinting at the powerful engine below. While it's easy to forget that Yellowstone is an active volcanic system, scientists don't. The supervolcano's status is constantly evaluated using satellite imagery, ground sensors, and chemical gas analysis. And when an external force, like a nearby earthquake in Montana, interacts with this fragile system, it raises questions that geologists are eager to answer. Chapter two, the domino effect. Can earthquakes trigger supervolcanoes? When it comes to Yellowstone's supervolcano, the question on many minds is whether earthquakes could trigger an eruption. While Yellowstone's magma chamber has been relatively stable for the past 640,000 years, 
tectonic activity elsewhere, such as the recent earthquake in Montana, raises concerns about the stability of the underlying system. Most volcanologists agree that it would take more than just a single earthquake to trigger a catastrophic eruption. The process of volcanic eruption involves multiple factors, including the accumulation of magma, tectonic pressure, and geological conditions. Earthquakes, however, can potentially increase the pressure on a volcano, providing a small nudge that may influence magma movement or change the behavior of gas vents. In Yellowstone's case, the region is seismically active due to the interaction of the Pacific and North American tectonic plates. This constant movement of plates results in the release of energy in the form of earthquakes, though none of these small quakes have been linked directly to an imminent eruption. However, researchers are studying whether larger seismic events, like the Montana earthquake, could destabilize the delicate balance in Yellowstone's magma chamber. For example, seismic waves can create micro-fractures in volcanic rock, allowing magma to rise more easily or escape. In some volcanic systems, this could potentially lead to eruption. While Yellowstone's supervolcano is not as likely to erupt immediately after an earthquake, every significant seismic event, especially those near fault lines or dormant volcanoes, adds to the complexity of understanding how these natural systems interact. Understanding this dynamic is critical for volcanologists as they monitor seismic activity across the region and refine eruption prediction models. While the risk of a supervolcano eruption after a single earthquake remains low, continuous monitoring is essential to ensure safety and preparedness for the people living near Yellowstone. Chapter 3, Ground Deformation and Thermal Anomalies After an earthquake, especially one as significant as the recent Montana tremor, the ground may shift and the geothermal features in Yellowstone can change. Ground deformation, the lifting or lowering of the Earth's surface, can provide valuable clues about the dynamics beneath the surface, especially in volcanic regions like Yellowstone. In the aftermath of an earthquake, scientists use satellite-based NSAR, Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, technology to detect subtle movements in the landscape. For Yellowstone, even small changes in ground elevation can be an indication that the magma chamber beneath the park is becoming more active. In some cases, ground deformation is one of the earliest signs of volcanic activity, as it often happens when magma pushes upwards or moves laterally within the Earth's crust. Following the Montana earthquake, data from the surrounding areas showed slight but measurable surface movements. This data raised concerns about the relationship between seismic activity and Yellowstone's internal processes. While this change in ground elevation was small, monitoring Yellowstone's behavior. In addition to ground deformation, changes in the thermal landscape of the park, such as increased heat in geothermal springs or increased gas emissions from fumaroles, can also point to changes in the underlying magma system. Thermal anomalies, particularly increases in temperature or changes in geothermal patterns, are some of the most direct indicators of volcanic unrest. In the past, an uptick in geothermal activity has preceded eruptions in other volcanic systems. For instance, the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 was preceded by noticeable increases in geothermal heat and gas emissions. Similarly, Yellowstone's geothermal features, including Old Faithful, have shown subtle changes that can help scientists predict shifts in the volcanic system. In the case of Yellowstone, researchers are closely tracking any new thermal anomalies and ground deformations to better understand how seismic activity in surrounding areas might influence the supervolcano. While no immediate eruption threat has been detected, ongoing monitoring is essential in understanding the delicate balance of the Yellowstone system. Chapter 4 Worst Case Scenario What if Yellowstone erupts? Although the probability of a full-scale eruption at Yellowstone in the near future is extremely low, the consequences of such an event would be catastrophic. Scientists regularly remind us that even though the supervolcano's last eruption occurred over 640,000 years ago, the system remains active and could still cause devastation if the right conditions were met. 
a full eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano could release a massive volume of ash, gases, and pyroclastic flows, which would have profound global consequences. The caldera could spew an estimated 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material into the atmosphere. To put this in perspective, Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980 released a mere 1.2 cubic kilometers. A Yellowstone eruption would be hundreds of times more powerful and could have a profound effect on both local and global ecosystems. Locally, the effects would be dire. Massive ash clouds could blanket much of the United States, disrupting agriculture, wildlife, and infrastructure. Ashfall could damage crops, destroy homes, and contaminate water supplies. The long-term effects on air quality would pose serious health risks, especially for individuals with respiratory conditions. Flights across North America and potentially globally could be grounded due to ash clouds, leading to widespread disruptions in travel and commerce. But the global effects of a Yellowstone eruption would be even more catastrophic. The immense amount of ash and sulfur dioxide ejected into the stratosphere would likely create a volcanic winter scenario, with global temperatures potentially dropping by several degrees. This sudden cooling could disrupt weather patterns, leading to failed harvests, food shortages, and possibly famine. The global economic impact could be severe, as industries reliant on stable weather patterns, such as agriculture and tourism, would face extreme challenges. On the brighter side, scientists at the USGS and Yellowstone Volcano Observatory emphasize that there is no evidence suggesting that Yellowstone is nearing an eruption. The current seismic activity, such as the recent Montana earthquake, has not been linked to any imminent volcanic threat. However, it is critical for volcanologists to continue monitoring the park's geothermal systems and seismic activity to ensure that early warning systems are in place for the safety of both local populations and global communities. Chapter 5. What Scientists Are Saying Now As the recent seismic activity near Yellowstone and the surrounding regions, like Montana, has raised concerns about the potential for volcanic eruptions, scientists have been quick to assess and interpret the data. The United States Geological Survey and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory play a key role in tracking any unusual activity that could indicate an impending eruption. Their message, however, remains clear. There is no immediate threat from Yellowstone's supervolcano. Volcanologists emphasize that while the recent earthquake in Montana may have increased awareness, it is unlikely to directly trigger an eruption. Earthquakes themselves generally do not cause supervolcanoes to erupt. However, they can lead to changes in the way magma moves underground, which is why scientists are closely monitoring any related activity. The real concern lies in the interaction between seismic events, magma movement, and the geology of the region, as it is a complex system influenced by numerous factors. USGS scientists also stress that Yellowstone is constantly being monitored for signs of significant activity, such as ground deformation, geothermal changes, and gas emissions. The YVO team regularly uses advanced technology like satellite-based INSAR, interferometric synthetic aperture radar, and GPS systems to measure surface movements and detect any subtle shifts that may indicate magma movement beneath the surface. Another important consideration for scientists is the rate of seismic activity in the Yellowstone region. While Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active places in the world, the vast majority of the earthquakes there are small and not indicative of volcanic eruption. Recent research has shown that while seismic activity is frequent, it's usually too low to be felt by the general public, and many quakes are linked to the movement of magma, not an imminent eruption. In terms of the potential impacts, scientists continue to study the potential for an eruption by evaluating past events. Geochemical studies of ash deposits from previous eruptions have helped scientists understand the composition of materials ejected by Yellowstone, which plays a critical role in eruption forecasting. For now, scientists remain focused on early detection methods to help mitigate any risks posed by future volcanic events. They urge the public to be aware, but not alarmed. Monitoring efforts are robust, and the YVO has a comprehensive emergency plan in place in case of any unexpected developments. The overall takeaway? While Yellowstone is an active volcano, the probability of an eruption in the near future 
remains extremely low. Chapter 6. Should we be worried? It's a natural reaction to be concerned when we hear about seismic activity near Yellowstone, especially when it's as significant as the recent earthquake in Montana. After all, the Yellowstone supervolcano is one of the most powerful volcanoes on Earth, and the idea of it erupting is enough to spark widespread fear. But should we really be worried? The short answer is no, at least not in the immediate future. Volcanologists and seismologists agree that while Yellowstone remains an active volcanic system, there is no direct evidence that the recent earthquake in Montana will lead to an eruption. The earthquake, while significant, was not strong enough or close enough to Yellowstone to directly affect the supervolcano. In fact, the geology beneath Yellowstone is much more stable than many people realize, and its magma system is not poised for an eruption anytime soon. That being said, it's important to recognize that Yellowstone's activity is monitored 24-7 by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and the United States Geological Survey. Seismic activity, ground deformation, and gas emission are tracked carefully, and there are sophisticated early warning systems in place that would give us ample notice if significant changes were detected. These monitoring systems have provided a great deal of reassurance over the years, proving that scientists have a deep understanding of the processes taking place beneath the surface. So while the possibility of an eruption at Yellowstone in the coming years remains extremely low, it's important to remember that we live on an active planet. Seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, and other geological events are part of Earth's natural cycle. And while they can be frightening, they also offer opportunities for scientists to learn more about our planet and better predict future events. It's also crucial to acknowledge the role of public awareness and preparedness. In the unlikely event of significant volcanic activity, emergency response plans are already in place, and communities around Yellowstone are familiar with evacuation procedures. The scientific community and local authorities continue to work together to ensure that safety measures are ready to be implemented should anything unexpected occur. In conclusion, while the idea of a supervolcano eruption at Yellowstone is captivating and dramatic, there is no immediate danger. The risk is minimal, and the monitoring systems in place provide a robust safety net. The real takeaway is that we should remain vigilant, stay informed, and trust the science behind these phenomena. What do you think? Could a Montana earthquake really influence Yellowstone's volcanic system, or are we overreacting? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video thought-provoking, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. There's a lot more beneath the surface, literally. Until next time, stay curious, and keep exploring.